AKA Best Bail Bonds Big Game Coverage, live from Miami. It's the Blitz here on 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM, on the go at ESPNSA.com. And if you're on the go, boy, you need to head down to where we are. Jason Minnick and Rob Thompson sitting live in Miami Beach. Your AA Best Bail Bonds Radio Row coverage continues with a legend. And Jack Youngblood. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Welcome aboard, guys. We're so honored to have you uh, as we head toward the biggest and most important holiday of the year. Port Rhine right. Appreciation Por- Day. I mean, exactly, and they're also going to play a football game to go along with to celebrate the Pork Rind Appreciation Day. They're playing a football game on for Sunday. Us. I know it's going to work out quite it's well. It's on Sunday. It is. It is this Sunday. That's wow. how we got here. Why we wow. were here. <laughs> it's Mark Singleton from uh, Rudolph Foods who pork rinds, and you guys do so much with gridiron greats, and you've got a great one with you, Hall of Famer Jack Youngblood. And and uh, first off, it's it's an honor to have you here. I appreciate that. I think the last Thank time you. we saw you was at the All American Bowl in San Antonio, uh, doing some That's right. some stuff with them. And and uh, you know we see you at the Hall That's of right. Fame, rolling around. <laughs> that goes, right. You know in the gold. Well, you do a lot of trips, right? Is yeah, we keep up with them all. Go, uh, that was we fun. get where we were. I think that was what three years ago. Uh, it's been a couple, yeah. yeah. It's been a couple years back, but you never forget a gold jacket when you get to meet one for the first time. And I, I do recall it. Maybe you don't. Oh, we're so glad to have you guys on board today. And as we get closer and closer to Pork Rind Appreciation Day and also that football game, I want to talk to you real quick about the, the game as it stands today. In what respect? Well, you know, as, <laughs> it's always a great opportunity to talk with guys and and think about the era that you played and the era that we're playing in now and the differences. So you look at football now. Are, are you bought into this way football has become kind of a spread offense, the fastest guys get everybody in space and can't hit too hard. You can't, you know, it's not the same game it was, game it was even five years ago. Now I consider what you were doing. What, do you appreciate the modern game? No, not really. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, no. Uh, it's it, it looks to me like it's nine on seven. Mm-hmm. Looks like a practice, and 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 you're right. It's get speed out there, get them up, you know, get them run down the field. Let's go fast. I wouldn't mind the go fast thing, as as much as as I would, you know, not being able to to do your job, make the quarterback, you know, put him on on his rear end. Mm-hmm. And and if you do the wrong way, or even if you do and wasn't the wrong way, you might get fined. Right. And I'd be broke. Well, you know, uh, you know it's interesting, and you wouldn't be playing because you know when you see all the highlights from from your day, those are penalties and suspensions now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if you think about it, you know you see the highlights of a of a Hall of Fame player from from your day, none of that would be legal in today's football. Yeah. No, there's no question. There's no question. The problem is it, it, it's the physics of the game. You can't take that out. We were, we're big guys running very fast, and, and, and physics are physics. And, and if, if I tackle the quarterback and my hat hap, happens to hit the wrong spot or the wrong side of the number, then I go out of the ball game. And uh, write a check on top of <laughs> Write a check on top of it. <laughs> on top of that. <laughs> yep. Now, they talk about it for, for player safety. And I know you do a lot of work with grit, uh, gridiron greats, which, you know, you see some of the health issues that guys have now. It, it, you, you tr- they're trying to find the balance. But it but it, football is a contact sport. And it's a collision it, sport. It's a collision sport. And, right. you know, you're, I, I mean, I understand head safety and the, the crown of the helmet. But sometimes when helmets hit, as fast as things are going, how is an athlete today supposed to avoid that when if if two guys are jumping or going for the for the same area, I I, I don't know how they take the head completely you know, out of the game. To be very honest with you, that's not very good coaching. That's not very 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 good uh, uh, demonstration of how you are to make a tackle. And the idiots who duck their head <laughs> need to go away from the game because they're going to either hurt themselves or hurt somebody else. And more likely hurt themselves. And more likely, yes, absolutely they are. And I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, the rise of youth football and just poor coaching. You just A lot of guys are learning play, learning to play football, quite frankly, the wrong way. Exactly. And uh, it's progressed through the system until they're already in their pros and they never really got the, the, the fundamentals to get themselves healthy, well, the, number one, well, and two, to make a tackle. And part of it is is that stuff right there, that that, that screen. Yes. The television. But, yep. You know, put 
put it on the put it on the computers. The crack and, hits. Yeah, and and let's do the what got got let go by by uh, uh, by the TV on uh, uh, what did they call it? You know, the big hit or oh, something. Oh, the big oh, ESPN. packages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, ESPN thing. Yeah. What was that? I've been hitting head too many times. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so have I. <laughs> ten at ten. But 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 again, though, you yeah, you know, you want to make the top ten plays, and and you want to be the uh, the big hit. Uh, you you want to be featured on Sports Center by making that highlight hit. Yes, yes, and no, yes and no. It, because you can do that. You can you can flip him over, you know, and, and, and make a spectacular play. But you've done it correctly. You've done it with your legs and your arms, and and your shoulders. The rest of it is out of the game. Absolutely true. As we speak with Jack Youngblood here on Radio Row, legendary Hall of Famer. You know, this year the hundredth anniversary of the NFL. They had a special dispensation and allowed some of the seniors to get in a, a special ten that were going to come in this year. The list was long, and it was one of those where everybody I saw on that list I felt like should be in the Hall of Fame. You know, right. And as a Hall of Famer, you look at that list and you see guys that didn't quite make it. I'm always curious as to you're in. Do you feel like those guys should be in? But if you didn't get the votes, nope. Sorry. No, no. There's always tomorrow. Right. It's coming again. I mean, there'll be there'll be seven more in in 2001. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, 21. 21. Yeah. 21. Uh, yeah. Th- 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 there was a lot left out. Uh, that that didn't have didn't have as quite a historical numbers that 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 have that some of the others have, but still deserve to be in the game or be in the hall because of how they played the game. Well, the, the exclusive nature of it, and I know what it means to to so many to have that jacket. I, I'm I'm you know what it probably means to you. Drew Pearson is a good friend, and he w- desperately wants in, and right. and the affirmation of his career to have that gold jacket. And he was, you know, I'm sure you saw it on TV too, just devastated that he didn't get in this time. Um, and I'm a big fan of give it to a guy that's alive where where he can enjoy it. You know, you look at a guy like Tommy Nobis, who's from San Antonio, uh, um, he should be in, in my, my opinion. But he's not. But this go around, I'm like, I want somebody that's alive to get in. Right. So they can enjoy the the feeling of putting on that gold jacket and, and and everything that comes with it. Exactly, exactly. I I, I agree with you about Drew. Yeah, he should have been in a long time ago. It is uh, entirely unfortunate, and maybe let's hope there's another day. Uh, as uh, speaking of another day, we got Sunday. It's pork rind appreciation day, and if you don't have Southern Recipe Small Batch, you're not doing it right. But let's talk about the game first. <laughs> As an old school football guy, and, and you look at what the 49ers do very well, it's the trenches that they dominate with just four being able to get to the quarterback, and then they're going against a quarterback the likes of Patrick Mahomes. When you see a guy like Mahomes, does he remind you of anybody from your era? And if you were playing against him, what would you possibly do to slow this guy down? I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's, <laughs> it, there's any athletes in today's world that uh, – that draws my thoughts back to the old days. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roger was a heck, heck of a quarterback, uh, athlete. Uh, Fran Tarkenton, who I'm still mind, yes. looking for. <laughs> I'm going to find him one of these days. <laughs> he's, he's slippery. <laughs> yes, he was. Yes, he was. And he's a Georgia Bulldog. Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that's a good thing or not. <laughs> not from a Gator. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, oh, the uh, the the two kids that are that are that are in the uh, Super Bowl this this year. I mean, good gracious, live. Mm-hmm. You know, they are tremendous athletes, and I'm telling you, they're going to be <laughs> they're going to be in the game a long time if if they can stay healthy and not lose that 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 sense that they have and the way they play the game. I mean, I, I love, I love to watch. Who Mo. do you like? I love Mo. You like, who, what team do you like in the game? 49ers. And no, the, wait the Chiefs. no, wait a minute. No, wait a Who I did I play ask. for? Well, I, I, I look at you as Ram. That's how I, I that's you, right. So you can't, so I don't know who you hate more. <laughs> <laughs> you hate them all that aren't yeah, the Rams. I hate them all. So is it, well, the, well, 
they they are the 49ers get my get all my boats oh okay the California thing yeah uh, they're yeah. my our travel and I can't uh, yeah, I can't even I, I can't believe I was watching them in, in the in the divisional you, you, know, <laughs> you know Jack we're you know we're Dallas Cowboys centric we're at down right? in San Antonio and uh, we have you know certainly been a long dry spell but it, we had some con- some consolation knowing that at least the 49ers ain't doing it either <laughs> <laughs> and now they're coming back and as a Cowboy fan, I just recall the 49er fans just being just about insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> and you just feel like it's coming again. But, yep. well, that's a good football team. It looks like we might have to deal with that for a couple of yeah, years. Yeah, I don't know. I'm taking the Chiefs. The former Dallas Texans. Yes, there we <laughs> go. <laughs> that's right. Well, all right, Sonny, let's get down to business. The uh, this, the Southern Recipe Small Batch is uh, not only part and parcel of what we do on Sunday and everything else. I want to talk to you, Mark, about – the rise in keto diets and how that has affected your business. Because I tell you what, I've always been, you know, I grew up eating chicharrones and, and eating the, the pork rinds and all that. You have taken what was a beer snack in a bar and elevated it to something that is entirely healthy and completely appropriate to the way I live now. It's really been amazing. We were Bubba Food forever, and San Antonio has always been one of our biggest markets. But since we came up with Small Batch and we took 40% of the salt out. Mm-hmm. We took all the eights out, you know, the diacetates, the, the things that people don't know what they are or why they're in there. And I had not had anybody call me in years asking for more yellow number seven. So we went ahead and took that out. I mean, I mean, not one single request. And so we, we took out all the things we didn't understand. And, 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 and came up with small batch, and there's great flavors like oh. kimchi barbecue, pineapple ancho, blackberry habanero. And, and it's really, as it, there's a pork rind renaissance going on out there. Uh, it, it's amazing how many new consumers have been brought in by the healthier aspects mm-hmm. that we've all known. I mean, they're protein, zero carbs, high protein. Uh, but now that we've got uh, more than just a truck stop offering, uh, it's really brought a lot of people into the to, to the diet, and they're so successful on it. We get fan mail. I mean, people, there's there's no groupies, Jeff. There are no <laughs> pork rind groupies. groupies. Well, I'm close. But, <laughs> but we do have some there's really not the kind good that you want. fans. <laughs> I mean, and, 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 and golly, with, the, with our, 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 our partners at HEB, they do such a tremendous job getting our product out there. We're, we're just so lucky this and year. And because of the success there, it has allowed you to work with the gridiron greats and do some wonderful things with the men that we idolize. Yeah, it, it, God's blessed us so much. And, and, and as a family-owned company, we want to give back to our communities and give back to our bigger community, including these great guys. And what Jack and Coach Dick have done is given us, as a team, uh, something to really get excited about and get behind and help these great guys. And we so appreciate y'all's time today to help us get the word out to go to gridirongreats.org and let's help sure. these guys. Let's help everybody that you know played wonderful but just a couple of decades too early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, yes. And, and Pork Rind Appreciation Day is on Sunday. And you got, you got the deal at porkrinds.com as well yes. where you could actually win some scratch. $2,500, and more importantly, a year's supply of pork rinds. That's worth far more than that. I'll tell oh, you what. I guarantee it, as many as you eat. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I like the kimchi, but I am a cracked pepper, salt, just straight up. And, you know, you crunch it on the chili. Try that. That's a little pro tip. For so, so I don't know if you – Rob's lost about 40 pounds in the last six months. And – yeah, you know, and I know uh, you guys sent some pork rinds to the office. Rob, Rob ate I them all. I grabbed them all. Yeah, yeah. That's he's like, here, <laughs> put left one little bag on my desk. and was like, I'm taking this. <laughs> you know, we're at 70 ballparks and stadiums across the country now mm-hmm. with pork rind nachos and, and uh, yes. other ways. It's amazing. The renaissance. We, you know, my, my son is a, a waiter in kind of a bougie, kind of fancy restaurant down there in San Antonio. Yeah, really good yeah, restaurant. Down in the Pearl. And they will <laughs> offer just about all the time on the menu are cracklings or pork rinds on certain, like, things you would not expect. Well, and things like that. Really, really interesting ways to We were at a restaurant it. the other day, and pork rinds were, were an appetizer. Mm. I was at the Ritz-Carlton at Dean Faring's new restaurant, and Dean came up to me and said, You know, Mark, I've been trying to take these pork rinds off the mes- res- for, for years. Everybody likes them so much we leave them on. They really have mm-hmm. uh, got, got a whole new set of, uh, of fans out there. And, and the, the, the great thing about it is is we're a 64-year-old family-owned company. And to see this happen in our lifetimes, it's a good thing pork rinds got popular before I 
got out of the game. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys. Absolutely. It's a genuine pleasure. Thanks for coming by, and thanks for all that you guys do for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. You guys have a great afternoon. Thanks.